Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Benny a True and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here at Lakeview Manor, which we've got a roof on now. There's a roof on my like tower, which is nice, but um, yeah, Lydia's not doing a good job actually uh, kitting out the place. She's just basically shacking up with a bard. So that's unfortunate, but we'll fix that. We'll fix that in time, that's fine. Right, today I've got something very important I want to do. I've had enough of being bloody annoyed by the bloody actual vampire hunters coming and attacking me when I'm not actually a bloody vampire. So, I'm going to go and join up with the vampires. I don't want to, but they've kind of forced my hand at this point because they keep attacking me for being a vampire. So ultimately I'm going to need to kill them, which is actually going to lead to a massive proliferation of vampires in the world, which is the vampire hunter's own fault and it's not my fault in the bloody slightest. I mean, the thing is, I do actually have one active quest with the vampires, which was to turn that guy in Riften, which I did, but I haven't turned in yet, but I haven't actually failed the quest yet, which suggests to me I might actually be onto a good thing. Like, if I was locked out of the vampire quest by not being a vampire, logically I would auto-fail that quest, but I haven't. So we'll have to see about that. So here we are, at Hogwarts, with Benor and Vigilance. Now, I'm not going to rule out the possibility that... Why have I not got a weapon? I swear I ought to have- Oh, it's because I put my pickaxe away. Yes, that would make sense. Now, I'm going to assume that it's possible that- Oh, no. These gargoyles haven't woken up yet, and the gate is not locked to me. Now, admittedly, I think that's partly because I had to console command it out of existence, because it refused to open at one point. So, it's entirely feasible everyone's going to be not happy with me when I step inside, so we'll see about that. I mean, to be clear, I am a friend of the vampires. I did help them with that whole, well, actually, I murdered their leader. But he was a bad leader, and they sent me to do that whole business with, like, converting someone in Riften, and I did. Hello? Are me and you cool? Are we cool? I'm not actually been seen yet. Yes? No? Ignore the fact I've got, like, my... Ooh, I think we are. Right. Hello. I leave politics to others. I serve the lord of the castle. Right. Is that me technically or is that what's the name? Sarah? I think that might be... Okay. Good. I can keep doing work for the... Oh, wait. If they ask me to convert anyone else to vampirism, I literally... Oh. Okay. I actually can't convert people to vampire... Oh, this is going to be awkward. Right. Um... Could I have more quests, but like the sort that aren't convert people to vampires? Because I kind of can't do that anymore. You seem to have lost the gift that has been given to you. Perhaps Serana will grant it to you again. Aha! Uh -huh. Serana could grant it to me again. Good! Also, I love that it's just, oh, you seem to have lost the gift. Lost oh, well. <laughs> dear, oh dear, you seem to have misplaced your vampirism. What a terrible mistake. Uh, well, first, let's just see what I can do without being a vampire. You seem to have lost the gift that has been given to you. Oh dear, he won't actually speak to me until... Right. Benor, we need to be vampires again. Well, okay, you don't. You need to keep being undead, and you need to keep being a dog, and I guess I'll just be a vampire then. All right, fine, whatever. Right, speaking of Serana, has she, like, moved into what used to be her father's rooms by any chance? Because she's now presumably, like, running the show. Serana? No. Right. Unfortunately, it's not shown up as a mini quest, so I can't actually get a quest marker. She's going to be around here somewhere, hopefully. Oh, wait, there she is. She's down there. Marvellous. So, Serana, um, funny fact, I'm not actually a vampire anymore. Could we, like, temporarily fix that long enough for me to... Oh, bloody hell. I'm turning myself into a vampire so I can stop vampire hunters coming after me for not being a vampire. This is a convoluted way of doing things, but apparently it's the only one that's going. Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking out a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, like me. Well, I'm going to assume I can just undo it again later, so I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, then. Hold still. And Serana gives me, well, a sort of fake nibble, actually. She clearly didn't actually bite me. Her head was nowhere near. And now I'm a vampire lord again. And my eyes are glitching. Luckily, Benor is not judgmental. He's cool with it all. Could you turn my dog into a vampire too, by the way? That'd be flipping awesome. Right, Vigimo, or whatever your name is, I'm a vampire again now. Can we get on with this? So, as it turns out, uh, Valindor has been welcomed to the family, which I also have been welcomed to, like, again. Very good. Should you visit him again, I suspect you'll find our new sibling appreciates his transformation. 
So anything else you've got for me to do, like, on the way to telling me to just go and kill the actual Dawn Guard, thus removing their essentials tag? Because any time you're ready to do that, that'd be marvellous. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. She has something for you. And it looks like we're looking for somebody down... Ah! Down here in the torture room or the armory or something. Hello! Here we go. For a bloodmouth. Good name for a vampire. None can deny your power now. Uh, yeah, apparently not. Though I could probably just sort it out in a second. Um, what have you got for me to do? The Dawn Guard will want the bow. And they will fight us hard to get it. Ooh! We should strike them first before they can muster a larger force. Right! Well, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. Marvellous! I thought I'd have to go through all like little mini quests to get to this. Like, I know there's like a special ring or something you have to get. So, yeah! That's marvellously good news. Yeah, let's just go and murder them all. Good. Kill their leaders. That should put a stop to a full-out war. Well, it also put a stop to them following me around, because that'd be marvellous if so. Also, as it's going to be really flipping cheap, I'm going to take some training for 200 weapons just to actually get myself a few perks. Yeah, it's so flipping cheap. I'll just... Oh, apparently I already... Wait, what have I already trained? I can't remember what I trained this level, but apparently I've already trained. Right, well, let's go and do that and then also de-vampirize ourselves immediately, like, again. Yep, yeah, here we go. My vampire blood boiling in the sunlight. Diddly diddly dee. Uh, now, where's Fallying? So I just want to check I can actually undo this, like, a second time. Yep, here we are with no stamina during the day. Marvellous. They say Fallian of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I can, because speaking to an innkeeper does indeed begin, if you just ask for rumours, uh, rising at dawn again. <laughs> Not sure if he's going to have any special dialogue for the fact, you know, I've literally come to him to be de-vampired twice at this point. But, uh, okay, that's good news. Right, well, in that case, over to the bloody bastards over at the Dawn Guard. All right, here we go. Fort Dawn Guard. Now, presumably, everyone is going to be like, yeah, not actually immortal anymore. So is there anyone down here we need to take care of? Uh, well, actually, the quest mark is saying everyone's inside. I think I already killed some people, actually, out here. Let's just actually make sure, because I swear there was one angry person who was a bit immortal, so just kind of run in. Hello! Vampire! Vampire! And you reacted very slowly to all of this. Right, are they all dead? Right, they're all dead. Good. They were probably Dawn Guard. Um, over here, I think there's like one person who's like guarding this whole area. Or did I already kill them? I might have already killed that person. Yeah, I think I've already killed that person. Or, like, Ben or did it for me. So, I've killed some harmless travellers, possibly traders or, like, whatever. But they probably wanted to join the Dawn Guard. Now, if I remember correctly, last time I was here, actually, I was able to kill some of the leaders of the Dawn Guard. Just not all of them. So, I think I've killed, like, half or maybe a bit more already. Right, let's get this all ready to go here. We want ourselves, yep, one Moira ready to go to back up Benor together with Vigilant. That should be fine. Let's just get the shield back out again and we will be ready to go and murder whatever his name was. I forget. Okay, yep, there's one person already dead. In fact, actually, I think every one of them but one is already dead. We're just here to come and take out the remainder of these. Oh, no, hang on. There's more yet, apparently. Ooh, right. Well, this guy's on his own. Whoever this one is... He's on his own. So, round here, round here, round here. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, there he is. He's, I think he's in here. He's in here. Right. Just take him out one at a time. There's... Nope. This was not the room he was in. He was more like over here somewhere. Uh, find another room. Find more rooms. And we've got ourselves down here. Hello! Is someone back so soon? Yeah. Uh, bad news, actually. You are absolutely boned. And I'm just going to whack you with a shield. <laughs> If you just hadn't actually hunted me down, like, this didn't need to happen. If I'd actually, if you'd asked me to join you, I probably would have said yes. It would have been fun to go and clear out the vampires. But no, oh, we need to take out the huskies. Oh, that's sad. They're named huskies, and that's very sad indeed. Right, everyone over in this direction now. Looks like there's a few of them to take out. Uh, ben, or you might die, by the way. Vigilant, I'm going to suggest you don't get so far ahead either. I'm going to suggest you stay towards the back. Here we go, and... Right, so let's just get you... Actually, let's get the main guy down sooner. Oh, he's quite tough, actually. Especially as he's doing bonus... Moira, stay out of the way! Oh, blimey. Um, okay, I might actually need some healing going on here. 
Right, healing going on. Closed wounds. Yeah, enough closed wounds. I can basically just tank whatever he's got. Yeah, that now he's dead. And so am I. Okay, might need to be a bit more careful here. All right, everybody in, but everyone be bloody careful, all right? Seriously, keep your distance. I will take out some of the softer, squishier lads. Because, oh yeah, these guys are going to go down super nice and easy. I'll provide backup by taking out their magic users. Oh yeah, just try using magic against me. Good luck with that. Uh... You also go down, and then, okay, now I'll go round here to take out their main lad, because uh, he's right now busy with, oh yeah, their main lad is super busy with Moira, so just finish him off, right, I'm pretty sure you're killing him, and then we have got ourselves just one more over, no, don't you even think about hitting my dog, job done. All right, well done everybody, well flipping done indeed, uh, now that this guy's actually dead, by the way, uh, does he actually have anything good on him? No, he's just got the normal stuff. Apparently, he just knew, like... What did he know? I mean, what even was that? It was like, um... It was like a light veil. Like, the same as, like, a flame cloak or an ice cloak. But, like, a light cloak. And I'm not sure I, like, I know what that spell actually is. But, apparently, it just exists and he knows it. Okay. So, that's the leader's dead. And, sadly, they're puppies, too. I feel bad about that. Because they were very nice dogs. Right, good news, Vera Bloodtooth, or whatever your name was. I've gone and killed all the leaders. Just stop swinging the sword around for a sec. None can deny your power now. No, especially now that I've killed the Dawn Guard leaders, that's true. Good. That should slow them down. But we haven't gotten rid of them completely. A body can rattle around confused long after its head's been severed. Okay, are you implying I ought to do something to help out? A feral blooded has holed up with a group of bandits. Likely wants to create a nest of broodlings. We don't need competition for blood. And we don't want the mortals getting up in arms making things difficult for us. Go destroy the feral beast before this becomes a problem. Okay, this doesn't seem to be a problem involving the Dawn God, so I don't actually care that much. Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. She has something for you. Right, and from speaking to the blacksmith down here, yeah, it feels like you only get one vampire quest at a time. Purely because, yeah, now everyone's saying, yeah, speak to Fura Bloodmouth. She has something for you. Yeah, I know, she's already given it to me. Is anyone else willing to give me anything out of interest? Speak with Fura Bloodmouth. Yeah, indeed, it's just speak with Fura Bloodmouth. Lovely. Ah, I thought Embershard Mine rang a bell. Yeah, it's literally the first little mini dungeon mine everyone always does. Once you've just built your first suit of armor over at Riverwood, yeah, head over to Embershard Mine to try it out. Oh, go on then. For nostalgia's sake, let's head back there. Okay, there was a doorman, but he was a basic bandit. I have a horrible feeling this place is either leveled to its local area or leveled to me when I first entered it, which would have been around level three. So, this is gonna be good. In fact, I want to do this the way I really often do enjoy doing this particular area, except I can do it a lot bigger and better on this occasion. Because I've got ridiculously high level illusion powers. Also, the traps don't. Did you guys just trigger a different trap? Because that trap was... Wait, what? Did I... That trap was already tri... Alright, fine. Never mind. Let's just move on. I'm going to illusion magic this whole area. Because I feel like it. Because illusion magic is cool. Uh, but to make that work, I'm going to... Oh, yeah. This is going to be much, much easier. Because I can just quickly do a little vast over here. Yeah, everyone is exactly where I would expect them to be. Which is, there's not many people in this area. By the way, you guys are now furious and... Okay, Benor, I admit, you're kind of ruining this right now. You are ruining this very badly. And just... Okay, that was... I think that was you actually taking a swing at the dog. Luckily, they are going for each other. Benor, if you could just basically kill them, that'd be just flipping marvellous. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we know where they are, thanks to Vas or Fas or Mass or whatever that spell's actually called. Get the bridge down over here. I think that gets someone's attention, potentially. But I think we're going to be okay with... Did I just not... I swear I just pulled that lever. There we go. Now it's coming down. Right. Another quick shout. Which is deemed to be silent, thanks to quiet casting affecting shouts, and... Ah, as it turns out, you seem to be all on your own. Well, that's... that's not useful to me, to be honest. I could have sworn there was a second person around here, but apparently not. In which case, hello! I'm just going to double fireball you. 
That seemed to work pretty well, yes. Now, here's the bit we really want up here. Let's just quickly nip up here. Grab the, grab the, grab the, can't grab the torch, fine. Could have sworn you were allowed to grab the torch. Well, I can't. Um, right, quick thing here. Now, where's the vampire? Where's the vampire spawned in? Which one are you? Are you the vampire? Well, okay, you two are right over there. No, I need to charge. Yeah, one of you's the vampire. So in which case, boom. Right, that's you all angry at each other. So now you two are going to whack each other with a big stick. And now everyone else is also going to be angry. And Benor's going to take on that person. Okay, the master vampire found his way to me, apparently. Right, well, this is... This is less good than I was expecting. Luckily, the the Master Vampire is really struggling against Vigilance. That's hilarious. Right, Special Sword. Paralyzing. Okay, the Paralyzing Sword works pretty well. And you can just basically go away. Right. The Master Vampire wasn't much of a master, to be honest. Didn't do a great job. The rather conveniently, this place seems to have actually respawned all its loot, which is good. Because, yeah, it comes with some precious gems and money and stuff. Right, good news for a job done again. Good work. It's always best to deal with a problem by ripping it out at the root. Okay, you really do like mixing up your analogies, don't you? Like, previously you were talking about cutting off the head, now we're ripping up at the root. Do you want me to go for, like, the bit at the top or the bit at the bottom? Because I'm getting confused here, Fora. Also, do you have anything else I can do? You're going to kill a Dawn Guard spy. But don't draw attention. Some kills are for fun, some for profit, and others are for sending messages. This one is a message. With any luck, he'll bleed to death before anyone notices. A cold corpse will say what we want. Better than a warm one. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. I agree. Plus, I have assassin training, so that should be doable. What do you think I mean? Don't make a big scene. Don't get caught. The corpse is to be the message, not the attack. Alright, fair enough. And this is killing a Dawnguard person, so I'm okay with doing this. Right, and where exactly is this? Ah, Dragon Bridge. Right, well, we've been there before. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, yeah, it's quite crowded. Fine, well, let's head in that direction to see what happens. Right, turns out I think this person's on the move. Because, yeah, the moment I arrive in Dragon Bridge, turns out they're not here anymore. Hang on, where are they bloody now? Uh, now they're... Oh, they're through a load zone. Except they're... Wait, what? Hang the flip on here, what's going on? Well, they're somewhere in this direction, but the map and the compass don't seem to be in agreement on that, but if he's on the move, we should be able to take care of this pretty subtle-like, as long as we have, like, you know, the right powers and everything, like Blade of Woe and a bit of invisibility on top. That should do the job very, very nicely indeed. Yeah, this is just, quite frankly, weird. It would appear that the quest marker is literally just on top of me with a go inside. Like, the quest marker is telling me to go inside myself, which is odd, whereas the compass marker is telling me to run a million miles in this direction. So, I guess we'll trust the compass on this occasion. Oh, and of course there's a bloody dragon. Hide from the dragon! Don't let it see you! Just get under there, it's fine! Go away! Nobody likes you and I'm invisible so you can't see me! Shove off! Oh, they can see Benor though. It's probably just going to come and attack Benor, isn't it? Well, we're on a grand old hunt here. I don't even know exactly what we're hunting though. Oh, 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 free giant! Screw you! There we go. Oh yeah, and I need to remember to put my assassin gloves on. Otherwise, I'm only doing 15 times damage rather than much better 30. Right! I don't know where the bloody hell this guy is, but apparently he's like a long way in this direction. So now we're just basically... Running across the map trying to to find him. And actually, it looks like he's it looks like he's getting further away. I swear the marker was bigger than that a minute ago. And just to slow me down further, these bastards need killing again because they do not learn their lesson. Okay, these bastards killed for like the third or fourth time. You'd really think they'd just like, you know, stop setting up a bandit camp here. It never works out well. We're now even further behind that bloody travelling priest we're supposed to be after. If I run across anyone on a horse, by the way, I'm just murdering them and having the horse at this point. And when it comes to it, we'll simply blame the vampirism. All right, that's fine. Are you just a, you just a random, that's just a random rat. You can just go away. Right, it feels like he's, it feels like he's a long bloody way off. Okay, the road to Rorikstead is going like, yeah, it feels the, my blood is not boiling in the sunlight, right? It's clearly, is it night right now? 
It's 5 a.m. That is not the sunlight. I think we need to head off the beaten track a bit. Because I think we're going in the wrong direction here. So I'm just going to like head over open ground. And pretty much try to get over to that thing as the crow flies. If at all possible. But like ideally without losing Benor. Because we'll probably lose... Go away! Seriously? Stop it. Right. As it turns out, I'm not sure Benor can make his way up here. So we might have to go a more shallow route. Because Benor is not as good at life as Vigilance is. Though, where the bloody... Okay, directly to the east of me, pretty much. Like, if I needed to know where he was going to be. Like, if I was to go... Hmm. I mean, he could be around, say, Dragon's Reach. But this is, this is genuinely a mystery. I have a compass direction, but not an actual marker on the map. There's a dragon over there doing something. I think it's... Ooh. Was that Al doing? I think we just saw Al doing over there. I think he just actually brought a dragon back from the dead from like a burial thing. Oh, did he? He might have done, you know. Is that supposed... I mean, that feels like a plot thing, but it just sort of happened by accident. Yes, no, wait, wait. Like, get, get up. Get up there. Hello. Yeah, you're named. Uh, and you're also trying to breathe fire at me. Good luck with that, by the way. I think one-on-one, -on -one, actually, I'm going to win this. Uh, so good work, Al Doen. Yeah, I'm just... Basically, I just smashed a dragon. And now I'm going to get in its back. And I'm just going to smash it in the... Yeah. So, I'll do and just brought uh, back a named dragon, I think. Is, does that happen every time? I guess it must do, but... I don't remember ever seeing that before. Right. So, I was just near a dragon burial. I'll do and showed up and... Brought him back from the dead and... Then I just basically killed him. Like, straight away. Well, that's bloody nice. Nothing special. Well, technically there is a, something a bit special. I mean, he had like a leather helmet of archery, which is okay for selling, I suppose, but nothing too major, really. Right, well, we're just discovering all sorts of things on this completely random adventure, where I'm still nowhere bloody near my target. Be a vampire, they said. You'll have power overwhelming, they said. They didn't mention anything about having no stamina during the daytime and thus having to amble along at incredibly slow speed, constantly, forever. Okay, at this point, we're heading towards Whiterun. If we are indeed going to pass by Whiterun, I'm just buying a bloody horse, all right? Because I can't summon Aardvark, unfortunately, because Aardvark causes Benor to fall over dead, because Benor gets confused about the whole twin souls thing. So nothing we can do about that. But yeah, I think we're going to be coming very close by to Whiterun momentarily. So as a result, yeah, I'm just grabbing a horse. And if this guy keeps being east, the thing is, there's not that much more east to actually go through. At this point, because, yeah, what I can actually do is, it's a nice easy ride from Whiterun to Windhelm, and then from Windhelm, there's like, there's not much distance to hit the sea, there's only so much more east to go. Can't help but notice, um, over there, by the way, there appears to just be a flying axe. Yep, that there is definitely a flying axe, and I think it's actually rising, it's not just flying, it's actually ascending. Okay. Okay, so that axe just lived a good life, has passed away of natural causes, and is now ascending to... What the bloody hell just attacked me? What the... Wait, what? Wait, what? The... That couldn't have been a wolf. There's... The... Hang on a flipping minute. For the health I just lost, that couldn't have been a wolf. The... That must have been the world's strongest wolf. What the bloody hell's going on? Okay, I've got a plan to speed this up. There we go. I'll just do that occasionally. Admittedly, that's just going to mean I leave Ben or and the dog behind. But I think they seem to catch up over time. Unfortunately, the recharge time of this thing's massive. Oh, hello. We're definitely getting closer now. Because if you move side to side, the compass point is now starting to jiggle a tiny bit. That doesn't happen unless you're getting close. Also, no. Go away. <laughs> Stop it! It's not going to work out well for you. Right, he's he's close. We've actually nearly found him. It turns out he was just in the plains somewhere close. Yeah, we're really close right now, in fact. Um, so, hang on. Hang the flip on. Where? Where is he? Apparently, we're like, we should be right almost on top of him. He's... Wait, what? He's... What? What's happening? Is the what? 
We were sent here to find a guy to... I don't have anything else set, right? No, literally no other quest is set. Just the hunt. I need to kill the travelling pilgrim. Who is apparently this flower. Well, he's not dead, so I don't think it... Oh, hang on, unless it's... Like, is this just a rough position where he is? Like, that mammoth was just fighting someone. Was that him? No, that was just a random fox or something. This is very odd. I'm just going to activate... Hang on. I'm going over to Aura Whisper to see what's happening here. Just to see if, like, you know, possibly he's spawned into the ground or something. Um... No. No, he hasn't. There's only two things... The bloody hell is going on. Okay, I've just reloaded the game. At this point, the game has changed its mind. This flower is no longer needing to be assassinated. Where's it gone now? I bet it's bloody Dragon Bridge, isn't it? Yep, it's Dragon Bridge. Great. Right, this time we appear to be, yep, dealing with someone who's a lot closer. Aha! Okay. Travelling Pilgrim. We've actually got eyes on the target. Hello there, I'd like to chat. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. So, Pilgrim, where are you headed exactly? Which shrine? Well, I... I'm going to them all. Yes, one at a time. Until I've visited all the shrines to all the gods in Skyrim. I love how she's actually wearing a special one of the actual Dawnguard axes. Just, you know, overtly on her belt. Excellent. Why don't you come with me? Why? What do you want? Oh, I want to persuade check you or something. Yeah, that'll do. What are you talking about? I don't know anything about any monsters. Ooh, that didn't work. That must be a flipping tough check. Well, hang on. Can I try again with the intimidate option? Settle down. No need for threats. Lead the way. But I'm warning you, I'm not afraid to fight you if I have to. Okay. She's now going to follow, which means I can lead her nice and safely out of town. Yeah, you're just going to follow me. Lovely. Nice and safe out of town, and then a quick dagger in the back, and that will be the job done. So you just follow me over the Dragon Bridge itself. Everyone with her. Yep, Benor, you just make sure she doesn't get cold feet and wander away. And now my... Now my health pops up for some reason, because being a vampire is just odd. Right. Over here, just behind these trees, will do the job. So you just come over here, please. Thank you. And then just... Oh. Oh, are you trying to get away? Are you trying to get away at this point? Have you decided you don't want to do this anymore? You know what? I don't actually blame you. But sorry, a bit late for that. And there she goes. Lovely. Job done. And it was a discreet kill. So now just very quickly leave her right in the middle of the road to make sure she is found. And anything else good on her? A ring of health. Yep, the Dawn Guard War Axe. And a crossbow of scorching. Not even that bad, 15 points. Uh, right, ring of health. I'll take that to sell it, why not? And yep, clear evidence she was Dawn Guards. Job done! <laughs> Albeit a slightly long way round. Also, Ben, are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale today. Possibly it's just a cloudy overcast day. I'm not sure. Right, good news. Job done again. So we've killed that Dawnguard Pilgrim. Well done. Nothing like a good kill to get the blood pumping, is there? And indeed, I'm guessing you've got more for me yet? Speak with Ferran Sadri. He has something for you. Ah, we've moved on to someone else. Uh, which one's Ferran Sadru? Is that the guy who's like over on the... Out of the way, d dog! Dog me! No! Get get out of the way! Yeah, one of the guys over here. Lovely. Ooh, the scientist one. I like you. So, I've heard you might need my help, my good man. The Dawn Guard have increased their operations and have been aggressively recruiting. We need to put a damper on their efforts and give those troublemakers something to worry about other than harassing our interests. You are to make a public show of murdering someone. Do it in the streets for all to see. The higher the profile, the better. Make it seem you are a member of the Dawn Guard, thus sowing confusion among the herd. Wear this armor and plant this note on the victim. When you say high profile, I couldn't go for the Yarl, could I? You know, an important member of society. 
Someone attached to the Jarl's court. A merchant, a bard, a priest. Someone with stature. That will make them all the more upset to have one of their citizens slain, and under such flimsy pretense. Okay, and we're pinning it on the Dawn Guard. Precisely. The people will put pressure on the Dawn Guard, who are apparently murdering their fellows without provocation. Their focus will be shifted from us, giving us one less nuisance to deal with. Oh, I know just the person. So here we are, a member of the Dawn Guard, just visiting town with my completely not distinctive undead zombie husband, Benor, and dog. No one will suspect a thing. I tell you what, I'll even use my special kind of chill rend replacement ebony sword, because I don't use that very often, so no one will suspect a thing. Now, where's the aha? Hello, my good man. Hello there, Nazim. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Right, unfortunately, he's just determined to tell me the spell looks dangerous because he considers Ben or a spell. He's not. Ben or is not a spell. Ben or is the love of my life. Uh, but this guy's a dick. He's a dick to everyone in town. So, Nazim, Nazim, Nazim. Where exactly do you live? In fact, I thought it might be that house. Hang on. No, you must live in the... Where does Nazim live? Because... Starting a fight with him, like, in the middle of the street during the day. Actually, I was supposed to do it publicly, wasn't I? Right, we might have to kill a few guards on the way out, by the way. Right, so, Nazim, we'll just... Yep, there we are. Just stab you. Perfect. Uh, now, uh, that's admittedly a thousand... Ba Wait, choose a high... How is he not high profile? How is that... Okay, apparently that wasn't actually that good. He was fairly high profile. Right, um, now we need to plant the letter. I thought he was fairly high profile. I mean, he wanders around talking about how important he is. Now he's a landowner and whatever. And one incriminating letter. Citizen of White Run, the slain person's boy was a suspected creature of the night. Thus the Dawn Guard have slain him. There we go. Lovely. Uh, so yeah, the Dawn Guard deliberately kind of making mistakes. Right, stolen on him. Uh, now we just basically need to get out of everyone. No, d okay, d don't attack the dog. Never attack the... Okay, we need to take out the flipping guards, apparently. Uh, chill rend is... Okay, the chill rend replacement's not working as well as the original chill rend. There we go. He's paralysed for a bit. Anyone else? Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay, we got... We got some problems. Where's Benog gone, by the way? Right, he goes over there... Benog comes over here. Oh, that's just adding more to the bounty. I feel like this shouldn't be my bounty, though. Because, like, it's not technically me. It's a fake Dawn Guard person. Also, my weapons are significantly underpowered right now because of the ever so slight problem that I actually don't have any of my good stuff. Also, my heavy armor's still going up. <laughs> that's ridiculous. And this weapon's nearly out of bloody charge. Right, well, this is just... Okay, well, you're done. Right, I think I need to... Okay, possibly we just need to get out and then start running. Yeah, I know technically you're not high profile, but I don't actually care. I just kind of want it to be you. So, stab, because you're a dick to everyone. Right, and now uh, search Nazim, plant the letter, begin running. Right, go, 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 start. I can't run because I'm a bloody vampire. <laughs> Being a vampire is the worst. Oh, dear. Right, okay, just... No, get out of the way. Get out of the... Oh, bloody hell, they're... Apparently, they're really, really tough at the minute. Why are they so tough? Why are they... Okay, just go. Just keep healing. Just keep healing. Just keep healing. Just keep healing. Heal it off. Just heal it off and then start running. <laughs> there we go. No, screw you. Oh, my... Yeah, my heavy armor skill's creeping up. Right, just go. Go and jump. Right, okay. I think I've managed to make some distance. Now it's time to see if I can just get far enough away to... Oh, hello. By any chance, would you be willing to give me, like, a lift somewhere? Oh, that might despawn Benor. Right, I need to get out of here. Okay, I'm far enough away from the town I'm allowed to fast travel. I'm just not 100% sure where Benor or Vigilance are. No, we got problems here. Vigilance made it, but Benor's presumably now a corpse in Whiterun, which doesn't really suit. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Right, I fast travel to see if I can find Benor's corpse. Um, and actually, I'm the Jarl, so I'm allowed to murder whoever I want. Oh, forgive me, Fen. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Yar's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Marvellous. So, as it turns out, they're happy with letting me go. <laughs> Including, I'm pretty sure I actually punched that guy in the face with a paralysing sword on the way out. Um, 
Now, the question is, uh, is Benor's corpse still around? Because this guy's corpse is still around, which is fine. Um, does anyone know what happened to Benor? Did Benor actually despawn? Because if so, we might have to reload here. If he's still around, that's great. Um, where would he go? There'd be a concentration of guards up here. Then there'd be... That's that's just some rocks. Benor? Where's Benor gone? Okay, I'm not sure, unfortunately. One corpse is there, but I don't know where Benor is. Right, okay. Well, now I know I can just do that. I've got a better plan. Right, round the back of him. Immediately just, yep, yeah, kill him. Plant the letter. And then after that point, there we go. Search him. That's fine. Uh, plant the letter in front of everyone, so everyone will know it's fake, but whatever. And now, put my weapon away. Crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you in your defense? I'm the Yarl, so I'm allowed to... Wait, hang on. How can I possibly get away with that? I've literally just murdered this person in disguise of the Dawn God. If I reveal I'm the Yarl, that ruins the disguise, but I bet it works anyway. Oh, forgive me, Fen. I didn't realize it was you. And he's got a good reason to not realise it was me. I was deliberately in disguise, which I've just ruined. Oh, marvellous. Right, well, that's that's much easier. Excellent. Welcome back, Ben. Oh. Right, good news. I've technically done what you said within the letter of the law, but apparently the person I picked wasn't high profile enough, and I ruined my disguise on the way out. Walking around like that is why magic gets a bad name. Shame on you. Oh, screw you. Also, it's done. Very good. That should, for a time, direct the people's anger towards the Dawn Guard and away from us. I had hoped you would have chosen a higher profile target, but the deed is done and its effect secured. And you carried out my instructions to kill the victim in view of others, and while wearing the Dawn Guard uniform. Very good. Alright, lovely. Have you got anything else for me, by the way? I've located the last known resting place of a set of ancient amulets of night power. They should be among our kind, not laying about unguarded for mortals to find. Aha, uh -huh. yes, I've heard about these. The comments were telling me about these back when I was doing this in the first place. Yeah, apparently they provide, like, really good benefits to vampires. The amulets increase the effectiveness of your vampiric powers. Yes, I just said that, thank you. Right, traditional armor back on, eye glitching once again, marvellous. I'd say as those are like, you know, special unique items and whatever, we should probably go and get them. But we will probably do that next time, ladies and gentlemen. Wrapping up my time as a vampire, part two, by getting all the cool unique vampire artifacts. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what they did. They sounded cool though, who knows, maybe, maybe if they're powerful enough, I would consider... Being a vampire again, we'll have to see whether they're good enough to justify that. Still, we'll find that out next time. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away! Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.